Jim Stevenson, the first player to recommit to Barry Smith's squad. Welcome back to Aldershot Town. Yeah, thank you. Glad to be back. And you've left Luton, clearly had options, had offers. Why have you signed for Aldershot Town again? Uh, yeah, I had a few options, but I've loved it since I've been here. It's a good club. I've been sort of made very welcome by sort of management staff, players, fans. Fans have been great since I've been here, so I had nothing but sort of positive views on it, really, and wanted to stay in full-time football. Um, and that's why I've come back here. Yeah. yeah, and I suppose getting something, getting your future sorted early, was is something that every player ideally wants to do. Yeah, definitely. I want to know where I'm heading next season, so I can get my sort of head around that and set some targets for for what I'm going to look to achieve next season. And yeah, go away on holiday and, and not have to worry about finding a club. And you know, lucky we've managed to get some, something organised fairly early which is great for everyone involved and yeah I can be sort of mentally ready to, to get sorted yeah. And when you arrived at the club initially initially on loan it was tough circumstances, the team were on a poor run within 24 hours you were you were playing under a different manager but you, you seem to adapt pretty well to that, that adversity. Yeah I think coming in that early um, probably helped me deal with it better than some of the other lads because they probably had to adjust to the new training and new new changes that um, that occurred but I was obviously a fresh fresh look at it all and um, obviously it was a bit of a strange start to it but I just saw that as sort of put that to one side and then focused on on just playing well and trying to get as many results as we could. Yeah. And for me at least you started well but you just seemed to get stronger and better as the season went on. Did you did you feel that way? Yeah definitely I think you know I like to feel settled and mm. Um, that's when I play my best football. And obviously, when you first join, everything's a little bit new, and you, you you just get get used to the lads, get used to where you live in, everything like that. Um, but it didn't take me long to settle. Like I said, I did kick on a bit. Obviously, unfortunately, at the end of the season, I had the little um, niggly injury which kept me out. But um, yeah, I think when I'm once I'm settled, I'll keep getting better and better. And hopefully, I can carry on that sort of progression of performances this season. And, do well. Mm. And that quad strain that kept you out at the end of the season, was that was just a, a little niggle, it's not something that's going to hinder you long term? Oh no, it was. A, it, I had to come off because it was, was bad and then um, we did try and rush the recovery a little bit because obviously we were very stretched for players but um, yeah, it's, it's not had any uh, reoccurrence or anything, I'm fully fit now, training and get myself fit, ready for next season so no problems with that and it won't, won't be coming back now. Mm. And the team yeah. in that, that great run after Chris started, I think one one defeat in ten, and at one point the team on the current form table, the team were in the playoff places. It the players showed that they could perform, and if I say so, you were a big part of that. Yes, yeah, not, not just down to, to one player, but we had a good group all working together, and I think that's what we've got to try and get this season. Mm. You know, um, get young, hungry players that all want to improve, get that team togetherness that we had um, during that period, and mm. when you get into that pattern of winning becomes a habit. Um, so yeah, we hopefully we can continue that on and yeah, I'd like to think I can to be a key part of that and help help build um, something here. Yeah. And the manager on his on his first day he mentioned that his his aim, his ambition is, is to push for the playoffs this season and clearly, you know, that's a, that's gonna be a factor in you re signing that, that ambition to really push on and not just avoid relegation. Definitely that's something you want to be a part of, a push. Obviously everyone's realistic where we finished last season, we're not saying we're going to go and win the league, but we can have a real go um, and aim high, definitely. And that suits suits me in terms of my ambitions. I want to get back to the league and, and you know, I'm coming here to, because I've enjoyed it and to get more experience of playing first team football and, and show that I can do it at this level week in, week out. And um, hopefully as a squad and as individuals, we can all keep progressing, yeah. And with, with Dartford, with Luton, you've got experience of the conference and I suppose you know, your, your experience will be key in knowing what it takes to, to get results in this division. Yeah, I've, I've played a few games now, so I know, know what the league's about and what's required. And um, Yeah, it'll be, uh, hopefully I can influence the squad yeah. in that way and work with the lads around us to sort of get people on the same mindset that what's needed, what's required and... Yeah. Yeah, and what 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 do you think is is required? Because you know, you've been part of a squad that that has done exceptionally well in this division. 
Yeah, I think it's been solid because obviously you need to be keeping clean sheets and being hard to beat. So we've got to build that and also going going on being attacking football. You know, some of the performances we had at home, especially, and some of the away performances. Um, you know, quick passing, pass move, pass move up the pitch because teams won't live with it no matter who you play against. You know, it's that um, that way of playing. I think they say being solid and then being really creative and ambitious going forwards, you're going to win football matches. Yeah. And Barry said that he wants to play that kind of game, that attacking football, using, you know, playing through midfield, that's, that's, that's something, you know, and your goals from midfield were, were again, I say a catalyst for, for the team's good form in the latter part of the season, and yeah, that's something that you will, you will fit straight into that team. Yeah, that's a big part of me sitting here today having, having agreed to sign because he's told me what he wants from me and it's everything that, that I want to be doing as a footballer um, which is like you say playing through midfield and, and me being an attacking threat for the team which is what I haven't been able to do at times at Luton and I'd love to be able to do that week in week out and, and score loads of goals from midfield because if I can do that it's going to help the team and it's going to help myself so um, I'm really really excited for that yeah. And that's it, the season's still a long way away, but you're already excited to get started with the new, the new gaffer and the new squad. Yeah, I am. I am. I'll, um, you know, I'll be the first to admit I'm ready for a, a new start. Um, so I'm just yeah, really, really looking forward to it and optimistic about what we can achieve this season. And then it's down to us to put in the hard work and, and see, what, see where we can go with it. But you can't get too excited too early because I'll end up just tiring myself out. Um, but I'll work off hard off the off-season and come in ready to go and we'll have a strong pre-season and hopefully start off strong.